Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? This is Joshua here, American AF Dumpster Rentals in Dallas. Yo, so uh, I haven't done a video in a couple weeks. Things have been uh, pretty hectic uh, between personal and business. And, uh, and yeah, lots of personal going on with my dad. Uh, so just a quick uh, update for everybody who was concerned and a lot of the guys, a lot of you guys who... Uh, you know, we're saying prayers for him. I just want to let you guys know that he uh, did get out of the hospital. Thank God, he came out finally this two days ago, which was Saturday. Uh, and yesterday, we were able to spend Father's Day together, which uh, is a blessing for me. So, just uh, just so you guys know, I mean, it was almost to the point where I mean, we weren't even sure, you know, if Father's Day we would spend time with him. It's uh, I won't go into too much personal details because it's my dad, but. Um, it got pretty ugly there for a little bit. Uh, you know, enough for him to be at the hospital for three weeks. So, uh, family's huge to me. So, to uh, to have my dad there on Father's Day uh, was a blessing to me and my family. And that's all I could have asked for uh, on Father's Day. So, I'm glad he was there. He's in good spirits. He's in good health for the most part. He's recovering. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully he'll be back to 100% soon. So let's talk business. Uh, business has been up and down. So I got this new shirt on. It's kind of bothering me a little bit. But business has been up and down. Uh, I've had a couple issues with a truck. So I, not that I've turned down jobs, but I haven't really been pushing uh, to close some of the jobs that uh, I should have been. And again, being uh, very, very distracted. Uh, going to the hospital almost every single day for the last few weeks. Um, I'm sure I missed some calls while I was at the hospital. Uh, and uh, I was okay with that. So, just to be honest with you. Um, I would do as much as I could during the morning, or, you know, in the morning time. And then I would uh, go to the hospital and relieve my mom and let her go home and take a shower and change. Uh, some nights I spent at the hospital there and other nights I... Um, you know, she, she did, and another night my sister did, in which my sister came in. She lives from uh, out of state, and she came in for a, a couple weeks uh, and helped as well. So, I did spend some nights working on my website. I did spend some nights working on my SEO. I did spend some nights also working on um, my Google My Business. So, it wasn't all lost. It was um, just hard for me to take booking sometimes. So, because of that, uh, I have six out of my 10 dumpsters sitting at the office I have one dumpster at my investment property so that means I only have three out right now um, it was also slow during Father's Day weekend so a lot of people didn't uh, you know rent any dumpsters during Father's Day weekend too so that, that kind of had something to do with it as well so it's just a little bit of everything that you know is causing my months to be very slow uh, and unfortunately I also changed over my uh, my AdWords campaign. So I basically hired out for the first time ever a third party uh, to take over my AdWords campaign. Uh, and so basically last week, middle of last week, we transitioned from my old campaign, which I don't think was doing very well anyways. I was getting half of my calls. I would say I was getting calls for the landfill or for daily trash pickups that they're you know they you know whatever company they thought they were calling missed their daily trash and they thought that they were calling our company that we were we were the trash company so i was getting a lot of bad calls uh for money that was i was spending uh i didn't want to continue that so decided to go a different route with my adwords campaign um, and if it works out if it pans out and it actually is successful i will share that contact information with you guys so that everybody kind of knows um you know I'm using and, and how it's working out. I'll give you guys an update for sure on that probably in the next, you know, 90 days or so. i got to give it some time for it to to um, be successful. So hopefully. So there's that. Uh, it's in a Google learning. I think Google's like in the learning stages or whatever of my AdWords campaign. I still am getting some calls that are not in my area, which, you know, we have that set. But I don't know. Sometimes I don't know. I, I get calls from Georgia. I've gotten calls from Oklahoma. I've gotten calls all the way from Florida. Um, you know, looking for 
a dumpster and obviously that's not us so there's that uh, and then on top of everything else my investment house has kind of taken a little bit of a pause and I don't have time to pause on it I have to I have to really work that thing out and get that house taken care of because my time is running out on my um, hard money loan and interest rates have gone up so interest rates have gone up 0.75 just in the last two days or whatever I think it came out on Friday that it, it was going up again and that's really not good for home buyers and and us selling right so we need to get that house done I do I did find a new contractor late last week to do all my flooring he's gonna take over the flooring the cabinets and a lot of the finishing work uh, the trim work and stuff like that hopefully uh, get that taken care of and that house done in the next coming weeks. I do have an, I believe I have an appointment today or we were gonna make an appointment uh, with our realtor to come out today or tomorrow to come look at it and give me an estimate. She gave me a ballpark of what she thinks the price per square foot should be. And at her price, I would be very, very happy with her estimate. So, but she wants to come out and see it in person first before um, it's in like an official comps or official, estimation of what the house should be should sell for or go on the market for so uh, hopefully it's pretty close to that number and i'll be extremely happy other than that y'all uh, that's my update we're going to do a couple dumpsters today i do have a couple pickups i think i have a drop off uh and hopefully we get some more last minute ones about my problems with my truck i have my mechanic that's been looking at it uh he said I needed a new compressor because it was it was freezing up uh, and when he put in a new compressor it was warmer and hotter than it was before I needed a new compressor so uh, basically I have zero AC for the last a few days he's looked at it a couple times but our AC machine was broken too we have a Robin Air uh, AC machine and for some reason that thing's not working I had to take it to a shop on Friday that repairs those and they said it needs a new compressor. So an AC machine that fixes other vehicles ACs needs a new compressor. So there's another $800 I have to drop to get a new compressor on that Robin Air. And hopefully when we get that back, my mechanic will be able to, even though I really think a good mechanic, let's be honest, should just be able to use a can and some gauges. I mean, we've seen those old school mechanics didn't even have those machines back in the day uh, with those cans of Freon upside down and they drop Freon and they go by the gauges. I don't know why you couldn't do that, but you know, whatever. Um, I think I need to find a new mechanic as well. But uh, there's that. So that's and it's been like 102, 103, feels like 107. Uh, when you're in that truck and you're at that landfill, it feels like it's 120. I don't care how hot. You're hot. So I need to get that easy fixed. I'm not one to be sweating all day every single day uh, that just drives me absolutely bonkers so on my way into the office this morning i hope everybody has a great week i always look forward to mondays i'll be honest with you my weekends because of the limo company i kind of dread weekends that's when if the shit hits the fan it definitely will uh and you know in the limo business it does very regularly so it drives me insane so as I was saying, I absolutely look forward to Mondays. Weekends are are really hectic uh, in my in my line of business. So <laughs> I look forward to Mondays. I spend the weekend with my family though. It was a great weekend. We had Father's Day at the house and everybody kind of came over, did a little barbecue and uh, just kind of enjoyed each other's company. Uh, we even did a little tortilla fact, uh, tortilla fact, the tortilla challenge uh, on, on TikTok. And it was kind of fun. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a good, productive week. Make lots of money. Uh, I am, I do have the new hats in, y'all. So if you watch this entire video, check this out. If you watch this entire video and you comment in the video, uh, just what you're looking forward to doing this week, what, what you hope you can accomplish this week, um, I will ship you out one of my brand new hats. Um, I think they're awesome. They're pretty cool looking. I got them in color. I got this one with the whole American on the side uh, and then the AF. And then I also have a couple other camo ones. So 
you want a hat, comment below uh, what you're looking forward to doing this week. And I will do a drawing by the next video, hopefully, uh, to uh, to see who gets a free hat. So, And I'll reach out to you that way. But uh, anyways, guys, as always, have a great, productive week. Make lots of money. Hustle. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.